and welcome to this episode of Al's Garage. Today, we're building a air filtration system for our air compressor for automotive painting. Now, if you're gonna be doing any sort of automotive painting, one of the things that's important is that the air coming out of the gun is nice and dry uh, in a reasonable temperature. Uh, also, you wanna make sure there's no dirt or anything like that. So there's a filter dryer system that I purchased which I'm going to be using with my compressor, but there's something else that you can do that helps get rid of all of your water in the system. And we're going to be uh, building that right now. You can see my copper pipe. I've got all my uh, other miscellaneous stuff here ready for uh, doing this job. So let me show you what we're going to be doing. So here's what we're going to be building. This is based off of four ball valves, which are going to be down at the bottom, and those are going to let out my air and I'll explain to you how this works. So uh, essentially this is coming from the compressor and the compressor can build up moisture uh, especially if the relative humidity in the air is higher. It just uh, kind of sucks it in and the act of um, you know going from standard air to compressed air can uh, cause condensation. So uh, with all of this water moisture in the air that is in the compressor what we want it to do is go through here and then as it's going here gravity will bring the water down to the end of where this um, ball valve is. Uh, anything that uh, from a moisture standpoint uh, this doesn't catch it'll go all the way back up here uh, and then this one will catch. Same thing all the way over here all the way over here. So by the time we get to this valve, like if I use this, I anticipate the uh, this valve will have the most, this will have a little bit, this might have a couple of drops, and this might not have any. So by the time we get here, then we're going to get to our uh, filter dryer system. Uh, and this guy uh, can get really used up if the air coming in there is super, um, super moist. So uh, anyway, that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to build this all out of copper uh, and then I'm going to back it with some plywood and then I'm gonna put this behind my uh, compressor. There's a little bit of uh, space back there. So we'll do that and then we will get some automotive painting done. So based on what I think I need, here is my list of everything that I'm going to throw together to make this filter system. I've got some 90s and some T's, uh, unions, everything is three quarter inch. I even picked up a uh, short rubber hose which will go from my compressor to this filter unit and then uh, I'll use my standard hose on the other side of the filter, of course. So let's get started and try to put all this together. So here's where we're at at this point. I have all of my copper pieces in place and I'm working on the wood that all of these copper uh, pipes are going to mount to. 
I cut this piece, this piece, and this piece, and that was based on the measurements of you know how wide this ended up being. Uh, the distance, you know, on all of these, I made the same just to I don't know, keep it uniform. And this I increased because I measured, and, and this is going to be where my uh, outlet is going to go in between those. So uh, what I did here is I don't have enough room on that side for the full unit plus the dryer unit. So I'm going to have it sit something like this, you know, mount up against the, uh, the wood here, and uh, I'm having this kind of turn, and so this will mount here. When I put this in, and again, I didn't film it, I had to uh, get this done before it got too late, because I didn't want to cut all of these pieces in the garage that I've just cleaned for prep for painting. But um, I put this in upside down, so what I'm probably going to do is drill a hole um, right about here. That way it'll bump this, uh, but it'll bump the copper pipe over and move this over enough so that this piece on the end um, can mount to the wood. So that that's, uh, uh, in a sense, what I'm planning right now. I'm going to cut that uh, and then we'll, we'll keep rolling. So from here, we are going to start putting the plumbing together and soldering some of this pipe together. Uh, I'm going to leave this pretty close to the way it is, just because the wood will act as a spacer for me to get underneath here, as long as I don't uh, get my torch too close to where the wood is. Uh, I should be able to get most of my soldering done, uh, and this will allow for it to be a mostly uh, level surface so I don't have any, you know, hoses get soldered crooked or anything like that. So let's get started. so I can get my 220 outlet, which is on this wall, uh, so that can um, happen right here. So, um, a lot of measuring, I mean, if I had a big wall to just throw this on, I'd be way further along. But, I am trying to stick this in a small place, which is fine, I just need to measure twice and cut once. So, uh, that's where we're at, and I'm gonna start doing some soldering before we go any further. So let's get after it.
soldering stun while I'm waiting for the pipes to cool down here, I'm going to mount this board to these pipes. So we'll measure that out and get that done. So our unit's really starting to take shape here. Next up, I'm going to mount my lower piece of wood and my upper piece of wood. So I'm going to take some measurements, make sure that everything is square, uh, and then we will be mounting some uh, plumbing fittings, an actual uh, air, air tool fittings. So let's get it. You want to do it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So good. Well that's it, copper work is done and mounted to our wood plates, so this is pretty awesome. Uh, the next step we need to do is take this guy off because I need to be able to turn my filter around to get that mounted. So I'm going to mount my filter, then I'm going to mount my brass fittings on the end, uh, and then I'm going to mount my brass, uh, what are those, drain plugs, or drain, um, you know, ball, ball valves. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? Um, anyway, once I have those mounted, then I can test it, and then I can mount it. Pretty awesome.
All right, moment of truth. Everything is on, tightened, ready to go. There are 45 joints that I soldered on this contraption. So I'm pretty anxious to see how good my copper working skills are. We'll see, there may be a few leaks. Um, I hope there's none. Now I'm going to take the unit here and there's still some residual flux that got all hot and is now kind of a caramely, sticky, gross stuff. So I'm gonna clean this off, uh, off camera. You don't need to clean any of these. Uh, but I'm going to use the solvent like why it's time to do that. And then uh, I'll load it with the compressor and we'll run a test. Alright. Here's the big test. Uh huh. Wow. All right, and that's it, the finished product. It took a little bit of time, but we were able to, after you know, measuring a bunch of things, get it to fit in here correctly. The challenge, I think, was on mounting this to the studs, you know, finding the location, pre-drilling them, making sure that the you know, holes were lined up. Uh, I have stuff in the top and the bottom studs, uh, and then, what is nice, what ended up working out, is I have just enough room for my 220 outlet to go in here. Now if we go around, we can see that we have our filter unit here with enough room so that it's not conflicting with our water heater. Um, so this should work. I mean, um, my only concern is that having all this close to the compressor uh, would bring the heat up. I don't know if that's enough to not have it here. If I had a bigger shop, I would have this, you know, sitting about six feet away or even more. Uh, but I think that as a whole, uh, it should hopefully work. And uh, what we'll do is we'll paint a car and I will tell you how all of it went. So let's do that. Well, we painted a car. It worked great. I am impressed with my filter system and it's collected some moisture. So what I want to do is show you guys that before we wrap this up and we'll show you kind of where things are coming out. Uh, I already drained the system once during uh, a full repaint of a 1943 Willys MB project I've been working on. Pulling this off the tripod. So you can see uh, I still have the compressor uh, hooked up. I don't have it set to turn on. Uh, but through this job, you can actually let me go around here. Um, you can see from behind that the filter has these three settings. It's either OK, needs to change, or change immediately. And right now we are in the uh, pink, headed towards white. Uh, I think part of the reason for that is the 
fact that I didn't really clean these copper lines. I would recommend if I had it to do over with, all the soldering I did left some oils and contaminants and, and just as a whole I think the uh, pipes themselves probably had some uh, contaminants so I would have probably flushed some uh, fluid through there before I um, actually uh, did anything uh, you know would have would have uh, gone through this so uh, with that I'm going to show you uh, I predict this one and this one are going to have more um, uh, fluids but after you know a, uh, I think two nights of painting uh, here's where we're at um, you can see that I drained this out onto the floor and since there's still stains here that's oof, yeah that's definitely like some uh, uh, leftover flux and uh, what have you so definitely a mistake on my part uh, for not cleaning that out a little bit more but you live and learn and I still th I, I think it you know worked itself out so we're gonna open these up and see our uh, water come out Okay, yeah, definitely a lot of water came out this first one here. Uh, I'm gonna try the third one and see what, what we have coming out of here. Ooh. Get my uh, camera on these last two. Not a lot there. And nothing there. So, uh, I don't know if I caught that last one with the camera. I was kind of holding it up on my chest when I turn the valve but either way uh, you can see that most of our water did collect in here so the system is functioning as it should with my uh, water coming through this way so uh, anyway that uh, pretty much wraps it up with this video I just wanted to show you the process of building one of these things uh, like I said there's other ways that people have done these uh, but this is what I did and uh, it clearly has worked for me, so uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how this works, but I'm happy that I did this, and I'm glad that I have something that's a nice filter that can be used for any future projects. So, thanks again. Uh, again, I hope this you, that you found this valuable, and we'll see you next time.